What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, I got somebody that needs to be putting his motherfucking play like that. Like this kid is beyond beyond idiotic. Like. Oh my god, like, y'all don't even know, like, this kid is so out there about shit, like, you know, it's, it's stupid, honestly, like, alright, if you don't know what's been going on, um, I actually just got back a little bit ago from filming for a new music video I'm working on, um, which will be out in a few days, because tomorrow I gotta film and shit, tonight I gotta film. But, you know, I'm sitting here eating dinner, chilling, you know, chilling with my teammates and brothers, Ethan and Ricardo on Facebook and watching some IndyCar racing on TV because, as you guys know, it's racing season, so obviously I'm going to be watching. So I'm sitting here watching the newest race, which is actually on right now, and eating and chilling with my brothers. And this Michael dude is sitting here. If you guys don't remember, this Michael guy is so far out there. Like, you know, when I mean out there, I mean out there. Like, this guy is just so out there as far as shit goes. Like, Like, this dude is sitting here saying, if you guys don't remember, I actually wound up beating the world sprint record last night on Need for Speed Underground 2 with a time of 1 minute 47 seconds or 1 minute 47.80 something, point, like 84 seconds or some shit like that. But this dude said, and I told people, I'm like, yo, this is why I need a sponsorship because... I race on a professional level, okay? I've been racing since I was 16 damn years old. Hell, the first game I ever fucking played, which I still own, is Need for Speed Underground 2. That was my first true racing style game. And this dude's sitting here saying, this Michael dude's sitting here saying, oh, it's, you know, it's all about the realism. It's all about the physics. Dude, fuck realism physics when it comes to that shit. All right? I play classic games. Right? Would I like to play games like Forza Horizon 3 and show at that? Fuck yes, because I would murder at that. I would kill it on that. Like, you don't get it, Michael. Yeah, I may have beaten the record, but what you don't understand is when it comes to classic games like Need for Speed Underground 2, where it all fucking started, not only for me, but for many other professional drivers, dude, physics were not as good as they are now. You have to remember that. Some of us aren't like you, man. We're not fucking, I'm not rich. I make do with what I fucking got. I was raised to make do with what I fucking got. I understand that you hate the fact that I'm not using good physics on a car, but dude, what you don't understand is on Underground 2, those are very real physics. When you hit a car at 125 miles an hour, you will go flying off the fucking hill. Like, dude, I've been racing longer than you've been alive, kid. I've been racing since I was 16 years old, and I'm 27 now. About to be 28 here in a couple weeks. Like, dude, I've been racing a lot longer than you have, dude, so you do have a lot to learn. What you don't understand is I did not grow up in your generation. I didn't grow up around Forza Horizon 3 or Forza Motorsports. I didn't grow up around that. I grew up around the old school games, like Need for Speed Underground 1, Need for Speed Carbon, Underground 2, Pro Street, fucking Most Wanted in 2005. Those are the ones that I grew up with. But at the end of the day, dude, 
It don't matter whether it's old school or new school. Racing is racing. It's all one thing. It's all the same, dude. I don't know where the fuck you're getting your info from about realistic physics mean more than anything else. Dude, whoever's feeding you that shit is full of fucking lies, man. They're full of it. Racing is racing, bro. It don't matter whether it's old school or new school. Racing is racing. It's all the same. Because let me tell you something. If it wasn't for games like Need for Speed Underground and Underground 2, where would games like Forza Horizon, like the Forza series, and the Crew 2, like where would those games be? Where would Asphalt and Airborne be? Where would Asphalt and Off-Road Rally be? Like, if it wasn't for the original Need for Speed games and the original racing games that I grew up on, y'all wouldn't have the games you have now. It took those games being developed to get to where we're at now. So you've got to respect the classics, dude. No matter whether they're good physics or not, it don't fucking matter. Granted, yes, I'll admit, the physics aren't as good as the newer. Like I said, I want to be racing on a pro level because that's where I belong. I enjoy the challenge. I enjoy the real challenge of racing against real people. I've done it before on other games. All right? I've gone against real drivers. And believe me, I would love to do that, but I can't afford it. Believe me, I want to have an Xbox One and Forza Horizon 3 and R-Factor and all that shit again. I miss racing realistically. I miss it. But I don't have an Xbox One or any of that. I can't afford it. That's what you fail to realize. But that's the thing, though, dude. In a way, you kind of did. I mean, you might not have been meaning to, but in a way, you kind of did rip on the older games by saying they're talking about physics and shit. I understand that physics mean a lot, and you're right, they do. I'll admit that. Physics do mean a lot. But when it comes down to it, man, at the end of the day, racing is fucking racing. End of fucking story, dude. Like, you know, like I said, man, I would love to get into the Forza Horizon series. I used to play Forza Motorsports 3 whenever it came out, and I would go over to my sister's house all the time. <clears throat> you know, I'd go over there and kick it online with some friends, and we'd have a good time. I loved it. Hold on, guys. My dog's over here. Give me a minute. What are you doing, old man? Go get Papa. Sorry, guys. My dog's being weird. He's over here sniffing hey, my... Come on. Sorry, guys. My dog's weird. But, you know, like I said, I would love to be raised on a pro level. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Give me one minute. Sorry about that, guys. I had to get my dog to go out. But like I said, you know, I would have loved to have an Xbox One and race on a pro level. I've been doing it for years. It's what I'm best at. You get me behind the wheel of any fucking car or any game, tell me the controls. Oh, this is all you have to do with me when it comes to racing games. Tell me the gas, e-brake, brake, NOS. That's all you got to do. After that, gone. I pick up on it like that. Give me a couple rounds, guaranteed I could blow right by you like a fucking professional. Guaranteed. But 
but like I said, man, I would love, love to have an Xbox One and Forza Horizon 3. I would kill for I'd kill for the crew too, honestly. I really would. Like, I would kill for either of those. But as I stated, I don't have money. So I have to make do with what I have. Yo, Flaco. Yo, Flaco, as a matter of fact, bro, I need you to message me, man. I got a video for you to check out. So go ahead and message me, bro, and I'll send it to you. But, you know, like I said, man, like I'm not trying to, Michael, like I said, dude, I'm not trying to make an example out of you. I'm trying to get you to understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, I know I need to do the newer games, and I want to. But as I said, I don't have money. I'm not rich. You want to know how much I have to my name right now? I literally have 87 cents through Spotify and... 50 cents, which I found earlier today. So literally all I have is a fucking dollar. A dollar. That's it. I tried a little over a dollar. But what good's a dollar gonna do me when I can't do anything? That's literally only a dollar and something cents. And here's the kicker. I'm not allowed to take and cash out that money until I make $10 worth of sales. So technically, I don't even have that. All I have is fucking 50 cents and a fucking coffee can. And believe me, it pisses me off that I can't take that money and invest it. I would love to invest in an Xbox One in a couple games. I really would. To be honest with you, I would love to have a full wheel setup. I really would. Like that has been my dream setup. Is kind of my dream setup is basically like what Slap Train has. The wheel, the system setup, everything. Like that's my dream setup. It doesn't even have to be a good wheel setup. It just has to be a wheel setup that I can actually use. That's it. Because I guarantee you this. You get me on Forza Horizon 3, I guarantee you I will outdrift and outrace anyone on there. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Because I know how to drive. Oh, dude, definitely, man. I'll definitely hit that, Flaco. Uh, just let me know how much shipping is, my dude, and I'll definitely hit you up on it. But like I said, man, I'm a racer. Born and raised. Shout out to the motherfucking king of NASCAR himself, Dale Earnhardt Sr. Shout out to Vaughn Getting Jr., Ryan Turk. Shout out to the fucking racers that are holding it down out there, man. And for all the pro gamers, man, shout out to Black Panther, Slab Train, Typical Gamer, what up? Come on, dickheads. <laughs> now, look <love> at your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. My dog is weird. Nah. Sorry, the other guys are fucking. If you guys see me eating, it's because I'm eating dinner as I'm talking to you guys. Sitting here eating on burgers and fries for dinner. But, you know. And I do want to give an even, an even bigger shout out to my best friends and brothers, Ethan and Ricardo. Because honestly, if it wasn't for those guys, I wouldn't be the driver that I am now, so. 
Yo, speak of the devil, what is up, Ricardo? What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? I was just saying, man, I was just giving y'all, dude, I was just giving you and Ethan a shout out, man. That's what's up. Ironic that you just popped in right when I'm saying that. That's dope. But if y'all don't know, man, Ethan and Ricardo, man, they're my brothers, man. Like, I've known these guys for five plus years. Like, we formed the drifting slash racing team, Extreme Speeds, about five years ago, coming up. And it's like, it doesn't even feel like it's been five years, honestly, man. It really doesn't. Like, it feels like it's only been one or two. But I can honestly say, man, I wouldn't trade those guys. I wouldn't trade Ethan or Rick for anything, dude. Like, they're my brothers. Straight up. Like, we get on each other's nerves every now and then, yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, man, we're still, you know, we're all brothers all the same. But uh, like I was saying earlier with the music video, I do have a new one coming up. Um, I'll be filming tonight around midnight and then... Um, I'll be taking and shooting tomorrow morning. So within a couple of days, within a week at the most, the video will be out at least by the end of the week. At least. Just saying. Right? Dude, it has been a minute, yo. Like, it really has, dude. It has been a fucking minute, man. Five years and going, dude. And we still haven't stopped. Like, we're still going strong. Right, exit, dude. I do too. I do too, Rick. Don't feel bad, man. I totally get you, man. Dude, I'm 27, and I feel like I'm fucking 50, 60 years old from that alone. It's crazy. Hey, hey, Joey, what's going on, bro? How you doing, man? Hey, Wade, what's good, bro? But, dude, like, I agree, man. It has been a minute, brother. Hey, uh, let me hop off here real quick. I need to, I do need to answer my call from my brother Sean. But shout out to everybody. Love you guys. And for all my drivers out there, man, stay sideways, stay racing, and don't look back, man. Keep shifting the gears and keep going, man. And if you see any cops, do this and keep driving. <laughs> 